Can you talk about how you feel right now? I'm trusting you. Uh, I'm, I'm waiting for giving all that you want me to give. I really ra rarely uh, be make up at, uh, at 11 in the morning. I'm really a bird of the night, you know. Can you talk a little bit about the character, the character and how it came to be and why it's part of you? Since I'm very young, I love to, to put costumes and I create my first character, this kind of this one, which is, who is called Corinne. I feel it like a clown. And uh, a clown is a, is a character that you have for all your life. Actually, when I'm like that, I can do all that I want and that I cannot do when I'm in Sebastian. You can know Sebastian more intimately through yeah, Corinne. Actually, yeah. How old were you when you had began this interest? Of uh, maybe three, four years, five years, you know. It was not especially feminine things, you know, but it was to transform myself. I never fuck uh, with that character, uh, with someone in that character. I never, you know, it's uh, after, at the moment, I finish my work and I put off my makeup and it's finished. I put uh, Corinne in a bag and shop, go. I don't want to be a woman. I don't, I'm, I'm good in my body of men. Can you, uh... Take Can off. you take off your shoes? Yes. Can you talk about um, who your biggest uh, inspiration is in your life? When I was young, there was a street theater festival. And so I began to see shows when I was uh, 11, 12. And there was a kind of master of ceremony, a big boy like that. Yeah. And I uh, say, hey, hello, what are you doing? Uh, yeah, you love circus, okay, come on. And uh, okay, you want to, to, to have uh, the afternoon with, with us? Yeah, yeah, stay with us. And after he proposed me to go in a, in a supermarket, something like that, to buy things. And uh, on the way, he stopped at a moment, he begins to touch me and all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And after I go. I saw that uh, that circus was not a, a, a life for me. And after I met a street theater company with which I worked for 17 years, I meet people who can give me their, their, no, their knowledge and who can uh, show me things, uh, artistic things, or can open me uh, my, my brain. They help me to, to make what I am now. With my family, we never went to cinema, we never went to, to theater. It was uh, even, uh, you know, still I was in my family and in that, in that town, I was not gay. Actually, you know. What has been your biggest struggle? Uh, multiple uh, sclerosis. It's one of my great uh, fights now. When I was 23 years old, I had a big car crash with two people die and all that. And I lost my left foot for maybe six years. And I, I, I'm like a miracle a little bit because it was really dead and for for one year I stay in a, in a bed for two years I stay in a, in a chaise we'll roulante we'll yes share. we will share yeah and small and small 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 the nerves grow 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 again and now I can move again my feet uh -huh. so it, it was one of my first uh, first fight because I was 23 years old I chose I've chosen to leave my family to, 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 to live from, uh, from my work and all that, and I was really full of energy and... And the people that died, two people died? The people, it was in the other car, oh, oh. yeah. It was a father with a, a daughter, yeah. It was, but it was really not our fault, you know. And my friend uh, who was driving had uh, 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 absolutely nothing. Is there a connection, do you think, between that car crash and the multiple sclerosis? The big problem with that fucking disease is that they cannot say where, where does it f come from. No one can say that. No one. Maybe you can die in two months, in two minutes. Or, so go, go fight, go, go to live and go to have fun and uh, do what you need to do in your fucking life. What do you want to take off now? Uh, that. Okay. <laughs> was it hard for you when you when you came out of the closet? I never I never did my coming out uh -huh. with my family. Uh, my family I only see them once a year or twice a year. It's always for Christmas, and it's always always one or two days maximum. 
I don't find uh, the moment to say that to them. Actually, I think I can say that to them when I will, when I will uh, present them someone. Corinne mm. is the name of, of, the, of, my, of my, my brother's wife. I came to, to that town for the wedding and uh, on the way to go from the train station to, to the place where the, where the wedding was, I told my, uh, my other brother that I was gay and he stopped the car and wanted to, to fight me. I said, well, what the no, it's not possible. That, uh... And what did you say? I don't really remember. <laughs> was it upsetting to you? Of course, of course, of course. It makes me sure that I've made the good decision to no more live in that fucking town with my parents and, you know, <laughs> okay, it was sure, okay, I, I do the good choices in my life. I live with a real family, but I, I found just after the French family. You found a new family? Yeah, yeah, I create. You, not create, the, you yeah, created a new family. It's family you've chosen. So you said that you would like tell your parents that you were gay if you had someone to present to them? Yeah. Does that mean that, like, that you've never had someone that you wanted to present to them? <laughs> um, we, we were very close, but uh, no, it was not possible. I've met uh, someone uh, performing in uh, Russia, and uh, for two years we tried uh, to make him come in, uh, to live here. It was very difficult because of paper, because of all things. But at the end, uh, we, we had made it. We lived together for two years. It was no more possible to, to live together, Why? and so... Because of papers? No, because of uh, brain, because of... Okay. Uh, <laughs> because we are not exactly, we were not exactly the, the okay. same, in the same plane, I don't know. So the that connection was lost? Yes, exactly, yes. Can you um, talk about something in your life that you feel ashamed about? No, I have no regrets and I sh I no shame, no. It's a secret of life to why I didn't die in that fucking uh, car crash, why I had that at 23 years old, why I lost my, my feet, why, uh, uh, my left foot when I was uh, beginning to, to have a career, why uh, I cannot explain all. Uh, it's the magic of the life. And actually, I know that maybe tomorrow it's totally finished, you know. You can find another way to live and, uh, and uh, to, to find peace in your, in your brain. Both. Can, can you maybe, do you think you could drop the fan or, or what's Or it? the pants. Uh, okay, I can put that as the both, both at the same time. Can you do one at a time? Okay, I will get that what? and that at the same time. Uh, I'll get my underwear under. Can you do just this? Just, Just this? Yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Okay, because you have more questions? Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> when is the last time you cried? <laughs> okay. I don't cry uh, because I'm sad. I'm working a lot by night. And uh, when I go back, uh, you know, when I go back after a night of DJing or a night of singing, after you, it's five o'clock in the, the morning, you're in your home, and uh, okay. You just uh, go to, to the bathroom to, to have a face clean and, uh, and uh, I listen music and uh, always I listen to special tracks who gave me sensation, gave me feelings. Often I'm crying at that moment, but it can be a pleasure to cry, you know, it can be a pleasure. Of course, I think to not especially good things, and uh, to things that can break my heart or things like that, but it's always the same. Things can, which can break your heart can be uh, positive too. So, okay, I cry, but it's not uh, because uh, I will uh, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> stop my, uh, my life, no. It's uh, like a, to make a point to where I am at that moment and uh, to maybe to... Release. To, 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 clean, uh, to clean your brain and your, your heart too. When do you feel the most beautiful? I think when I'm in love, when people give me love, uh, when of you course, feel I, I, you I feel, feel beautiful. beautiful. It's normal. Yeah. It's normal. Yeah. Yeah. We need love. We do. Just air. I go? Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> oh. What do you think it means, uh, self-acceptance? It's a work of life, yeah. 
I think it's uh, even uh, in 30 years I will not totally self accept me. Mm -hmm. I hope so. Why in your body, in your skin, why is it a good place to be? Uh, the fact that I'm an artist, actually. Mm -hmm. I'm really, really, yes. really proud of that and really and I'm really proud to have to have chosen to go in that way and not in that way but I think that even if I was a baker I don't know what uh, maybe uh, I could be very happy to be to do the beautiful uh, cakes and do maybe I could I could be an artist even uh, even uh, even in another in another work something like that Thank you so much. That Thank was you, so, <laughs> so, so beautiful. Mm -hmm. We're really moved, <laughs> deeply moved. Great. And you did, you, you, you <laughs> really, you didn't have one bit of problems with language or expressing yourself at all. That'd be very great too. Oh. But I'm going to take, <laughs> take a picture of you uh, now. Okay. You know? And how do you feel right now? I know that because of my English and because I didn't know if uh, you can, I can give you all that I feel with, with uh, only the few words that I have uh, in English, you know, it's not so easy. But I'm sure that even in French it's not so easy to <laughs> say all that too. I'm so, going to give you a hug. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> this is my mom, Elisa. And this is my daughter, Lily, and we're the creators of Style Like You. Join the movement for self-acceptance by following us on Instagram, subscribing to our YouTube channel, and buying our new book.